Yo, 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 what is up, boys? It is Tap X Ears back on the mic for another commentary. And for today, we have a 77 kill game on the map frontier by my boy Yoats Apollo. Uh, big shout out for, to, for him letting me use his gameplay for this video uh, just because I really don't even have that much time on the game. I just got the NV4 nuke variant and also the FHJ nuke variant. So I'm be grinding for some nuclears tonight. Uh, hopefully, I get some and I'll bring those to the channel as well. And for this gameplay, I just wanted to just like pretty much showcase just pretty much how nasty the Karma is. The Karma 45 is probably one of the best SMGs in the game right now. Um, I honestly wish that you can actually put the the nuke on the Karma. I think he's running Silencer, Extended. No, he's running Silencer, uh, Quick Draw, and Stock on his Karma. Uh, I know that's what he told me. And for the perks, he's running uh, I think Recon. Uh, hardline and dexterity and uh, just like just I just want to get your guys opinion do you guys really like infinite warfare I just kind of find the game kind of it's kind of weird like some gunfights you seem like you're melting people and then other gunfights it feels like you have to put like 10 15 bullets and then someone just to kill them on the like I don't know if that's if you guys have like feeling the same way but that's kind of like how I've been feeling with the game um definitely actually kind of funny thing is Certain variants, like I have the NV4 Fallout, which gives you uh, more accuracy in the nuke variant. And I also have the FHJ, which has the nuclear and, and it increases the accuracy, I believe. Those variants, it feels like the guns kill faster when you have the nuke on them. Because I was winning a lot. I don't know if it's just because, you know, I'll have the nuke and like the mindset is different. But I was winning a lot more gunfights when I had uh, the nuke variant of the assault rifles as opposed to me running around with the regular ones. Um, he's running around the Karma now. Um, I don't know if, if when the game fully comes out, if there's gonna be nuke variants for every single gun. I really do hope so, because I, I really wanna get like a nuke with the K-Bar, because I think the K-Bar is one of the best ARs uh, right now. I pretty much just use the NV4, the K-Bar, and the FHJ, um, just because I really don't like um, a majority of the guns in this game. Oh, nice triple right there. But yeah, um, I mean, this like this game, like I, everything was just going well for him. Uh, his, he was just melting people. He's just going in, just tearing up the spawns. It's just like this. I mean, this Call of Duty, I like it, but at the same time, I feel like they should change some things. And uh, a couple of the things I feel like they should change is I feel like they should put uh, the portable radar at a further, like a higher unlock level. Because it is kind of annoying having, you know, a level 1 with the poor radar and them spamming it. And then, you you know, they're sitting in a corner waiting for you. I don't think that's very fair considering the fact that there really is no counter to it. Um, a ghost doesn't work to counter the poor radar. And neither does hardwired. So I really don't understand why they even thought about putting um, the poor radar in the game as an equipment that you unlock off the start. That's something that you probably should unlock at the probably the last 5 levels. Um, another thing in this game that I think that they should definitely uh, buff is definitely the stock attachment on the assault rifle. Stock on the ARs is is awful on this game. Like it really doesn't really do anything. Honestly, I think it's more, it's even less useful than it was in Black Ops 3. Um, there is strafe momentum in this game. If you guys didn't know like what that is, like when you're up in the air and you have stock, uh, you can kind of move faster. But as opposed to just like that's only like a like a positive if you have like a scuff controller. Um, if not, I mean stock is pretty much useless. I really wouldn't run it whatsoever. And another thing um, in this game that I feel that they need to address, and they probably should definitely um, either remove it, is they need to definitely like nerf some of the grenades. Uh, the nades in this game are insane. Um, there's like a cluster grenade. There's a like a spider trip mine thing that like literally follows you, and it's not even that like it wouldn't even be that bad if you know it just like follows you for a second. But you know I was literally I should I think I'm gonna upload this clip. I was playing on the map uh, throwback and I was like backseat. I was like maybe I think I was like maybe ten off uh, a, a juggernaut metal, which is the nuclear, and I literally died because I was like behind the I literally jumped like around the wall. And then the spider fucking literally just like it literally just like jumped through the window like it took like a like a, a detour to get me which i don't think that's i don't think they should be that good 
Um, it just doesn't make any sense. Something that doesn't take any skill to get kills with uh, definitely shouldn't be that strong. I mean, the grenades, they're, they're crazy. Uh, flat jacket really doesn't do anything on this game. The grenades still kill you. Like, even if you're like, they're kind of like far away, the they're just not good. And coupled with um, the, you know, the really, really, really long time it takes to regen health, that's another thing in this game that I feel like they should change, is that, you know, the health regen time needs to be a little faster. Um, it just takes too long, you know, for you to regen your health. Uh, I just think that they should definitely, um, you know, increase the, I mean, reduce the time it takes to get back to full health. I think that makes the game a little bit more fun and make it more fast paced. Uh, the game pretty much is gun on gun. Uh, the streaks in this game are, are awful. Like, the streaks literally do absolutely nothing. The Warden is terrible. The Thor, which is kind of the low star, is awful. I get no kills with the Thor whatsoever. I think the most amount of kills I got the Thor is going to be six, and I got the, and I got it like three times in the same game. And, I mean, hopefully they do change um, some of the streaks, buff them. Um, the maps that we're playing on are pretty much like all indoor maps. Uh, the streaks really don't do anything. Which I kind of understand why they did that for the beta. They just want to put small maps. Um, the ARs are kind of weak uh, just because stock is bad. If they buff the ARs and maybe nerf the, F the, um, the FHJ and uh, the, the EVO, um, I think the game... I think it will run a little bit smoother because right now ARs are pretty much useless unless you have variants that reduce recoil uh, and increase the range. Otherwise, I mean, the, the ARs are kind of, they're not really, they're not viable at all. Um, like I said, man, the NV4 and the K-Bar are probably the only two um, ARs that are even good. And the, the K-Bar variant that actually has like the headshot bonus uh, with the ammo is like the only good variant for that gun. Um, so yeah, um, let's, let me know what you guys think about Infinite Warfare. Overall, I'm, I like the game. I think it's fun. Um, I'm really not going to be like worried about pub stomping this year. I think I'm going to focus on streaming. I'm still going to be uploading videos and, you know, just the standard nuclears. But, I mean, this game, unless like the maps, unless they like address the sniping, which is kind of crazy. I hope the sniping dies down and... They may, they might buff the ARs or you know do something to tweak with the SMGs of uh, the game. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, you know, just the same gameplays. You know, as you're gonna see from me. Uh, I do have some more gameplays that I'm gonna post that are mine. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, make sure to show my boy Yo to follow some love. Follow him on Twitter. Follow him on his Twitch and his YouTube. All his links will be down in the description. And it's been your boy Tap X Ears, and I'm out. Peace.